Latest attempts from Rick Perry's defense team have failed as today an Austin judge ruled the abuse of power case against him will go forward. And almost immediately after that decision, Perry's team countered with another filing. Chris Sadegi joins us to break down what it ultimately means for the criminal case against the former governor. Chris? Well, Shannon, there were two motions Perry's defense team filed to have the indictment thrown out on constitutional grounds. Judge Burt Richardson said no on both. In his 44-page ruling, Richardson said that ruling on constitutionality would be outside the scope of the trial court. 30 minutes after we received that ruling, we then received another filing from Perry's team with their notice to appeal the judge's decision. So that means this case is bound for the Court of Appeals. Perry's defense said, quote, continued prosecution of Rick Perry is an outrage and sets a dangerous precedent in our democracy. But we talked to special, special prosecutor Mike McCrum by phone who praised the judge for knowing his limits in spite of the Perry team's request for him to intervene. However, some think the appellate court will be where Perry's team finds more success. There are many people across this state and country that argue that judges should exercise judicial restraint. Uh, and in this case, the governor was ask, asking for just the opposite. But uh, the governor, uh, Judge Richardson, did exactly that. Even though this particular judge is also now a member of the Court of Appeals, uh, I feel fairly confident as a lawyer who practiced for 27 years that Governor Perry would have an excellent chance of having the case dismissed once it reaches the Court of Appeals level. Now, a lot of times when a case goes to the appellate court, it slows down, things get delayed, but Mike McCrum told us by phone that may not necessarily be the case here, that the appellate court and the trial court could continue simultaneously. He said he anticipates this case to be wrapped up sometime this calendar year. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.